Hey guys, it's Claire and who's shocked that I waited until August 30th, is it 30th? I think so, to film the what I read in August video that needs to be up tomorrow. But let's get into it. I didn't read a ton of books this month. It was more of an audiobook month for me, but I also started school. So my reading's been really inconsistent this month, but nonetheless, I have a video. <laughs> So the first thing I read this month was Now I'll Tell You Everything by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. It was the final book in the Alice series. Loved it. There were so many things that I forgot happened and a lot happens in that book in such a short amount of time. But if you want to hear more of my thoughts, more cohesive, more memorized thoughts on it, I made an entire video about it. You can click up here to go watch that. But yeah, it was a nice trip down memory lane and I'm so proud of myself for finishing it. Then I read After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid and TJR, you did it again. You did it again. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think here. Malibu Rising is my least favorite of all of them. Um, Daisy Jones is my number one. I think Seven Husbands is number two. This might be number three. It's really competing with Carrie Soto right now. And then I still have three other books of hers to read, but yeah, I, I, I love I love it. Like she's just so good. Like I put her books off because I know I'll read all of them in five minutes and I'll love all of them. So I'm trying to like be like, okay, you can savor this, but might've been my favorite read of this month. Then I read Elle Kennedy's debut novel, Body Check. Um, yeah, it read like a debut novel. Did not enjoy it in the slightest. Like, obviously it was a quick, easy hockey romance, easy read, so it gets some points for that, but it wasn't anything memorable and I got rid of the book. Then I finally got around to Not In Love by Allie Hazelwood and I really did enjoy it. This kind of juxtaposed the speed of body check for me in terms of pacing for a romance novel where like body check was literally straight up this girl wanted to bang and this one was straight up I want to find a relationship but not straight up bang and that's what I enjoyed about this one um more similar to the book I'm writing you know not as steamy as I thought it was gonna be but good mix then I listened to not that fancy by Reba McIntyre I love Reba like Reba for me is a comfort watch a comfort celebrity for me so it was very nice listening to her biography i also finally listened to perks of being a wallflower i it took me three tries to get into watching the movie that first time around for whatever reason it just wasn't happening but i love the book and it reads just like the movie watches if that makes sense then i finally read my blind date with a book from like february better than fiction really enjoyed it i was scared i wasn't gonna like this book because it was so similar to a lot of other books i've read but I really did like it. Then for a brand deal, I read Rucked by Heidi Stark. The pacing was not the greatest, but I liked it a lot. Like I felt like the characters had good chemistry, but there could have been more conversations had. It was, they all had a fling with the main character and then had no conversation. They're like, okay, we're all dating you now. And I'm like, where's the conversation? And like, everybody was just like, okay with it. And like in Pucking Around, they're all dating, each except for Jake and Mars, but like they're all dating each other. So it makes more sense, but they're not dating each other, they're just dating each other. So it's like, it's like, huh? I don't know, the, the harem thing just like, I don't quite get it, but I get it, you know what I mean? But it was cute, quick, easy read. Um, there's always like a fourth character I don't care about. And like the guy that wasn't the roommate, I just, what the hell? I didn't care about that part. <laughs> Kai was the Mars. <laughs> I completely forgot to mention that I read RuPaul's biography. Okay, 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 it's Slade, it's Slade, it's Slade. He did not have to chasse away, you know what I'm saying? Then I read Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. Enjoyed it, wasn't my favorite thing in the world. I did not like that like it was going the route of a poly relationship and then it wasn't going the route of a poly relationship and then the dad was just like okay with everything it was just weird to me okay her dad is not a rock and roll legend Hal Price you know what I mean like not every dad is gonna be okay yeah but it was cute not my favorite hi Reese for knocking the camera 
way better than body check i'll give you that then i listened to do you remember I, by frida mcfadden and i did not like how repetitive it got like i have a um like um what's it like a something that like ticks me off about a lot of frida mcfadden characters is she writes the main character to be like so stupid and incompetent like continually doing the same things over and over again that make them a shitty character and though i enjoyed this much more than the co-worker and the teacher and some of her other ones yeah that's not one of my favorite tropes of her books but i did read it i think in two days one day something like that i listened to it so and then finally i listened to death of a salesman by arthur miller i've been trying to read more jewish authors because of everything going on right now it's just like gotta give my people some love that they're not receiving um i thought it was gonna be a book and not the actual play but it was just the play uh it's one of my favorite plays of all time um yeah i'm trying to think of what my favorite plays are it would be that one the producers is really high up there but yeah five stars but that is what i read in august and if this video iMovie works and everything i will see you in september are we in september now yeah see ya